Okay, when you p wrap and turn stitches in garter stitch, there's really no reason to come back and pick up the wraps because in garter stitch, the wrap that goes around the stitch is very disguised. So when it, you come to the spot on your pattern where you're going, where it states you should wrap and turn, you're going to wrap and turn like this. Slip the next stitch purlwise to the right hand needle, bring your yarn to the front, return that slip stitch to the left hand needle. Now turn your work and you're still looking at the knit side because we're doing it this swatch in garter stitch. So you knit to the end. You can see where your wrap stitch is because you've got the gap after your wrap stitch. But instead of picking up the wrap like you might on stockinette stitch, we're just going to ignore that that wrap stitch and work it like a regular stitch. There's the wrap stitch right there. If you look closely, it's got a little scarf around its neck, but it's disguised by all of the bumps that are naturally there in garter stitch. So when we get to the wrap stitch, you just work it as a single knit stitch and it blends in really nicely with the garter. Okay, here's the wrap stitch. I'm not going to pick up that wrap like I would in stockinette. I'm just going to work it like a regular knit stitch and keep going across the row. It's very nicely disguised. Can't even tell that we really did anything. Short row right there. Okay, wrap and turn. Try it in garter stitch. It's fun.